Well, hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Lisa and if you're new here, this is Southern Inky Designs. I'm so glad you're here. Today's video you do not want to miss and you're going to want to stay to the end because the transformation of this thrift flip is going to, I think it's going to blow your mind because it blew my mind. Who would have thought that this turned out the way that it did, but you're gonna have to wait and see at the end of the video. So make sure you watch to the end. Y'all know how much I love a good thrift flip. Well, this one I think you're gonna love. I found these two bookshelves at my local thrift store for only $30. I was looking for a unique piece of furniture for my dining room and I figured these would work but when I got them home the scale was way off. They looked really puny so I decided to add to them. I had these risers in my storage building and that kind of sparked an idea to create risers for these bookshelves. So I actually ended up taking the legs off of these risers. I just removed some of the screws and everything came apart perfectly. One of my favorite things to do is reuse things that I already have on hand. And these eight legs were going to be perfect for my project. Some of the legs were in bad shape, but I knew they would still work. So I cleaned them up really good and made a new frame to fit each bookcase. And I screwed the legs to my new frame to create a riser. I attached both of the risers together with some wood screws and that just made it a little bit stronger and sturdier for my bookcases. These risers worked out perfectly. I'm not sure what material these bookshelves are made out of, but it's a very light material. So I secured each piece together with wood screws to make it stronger and sturdier. After I secured everything with wood screws, things still looked a little boring to me, so I decided to measure and make some doors. I got some one by twos and I made some door frames and attached them with some hinges to the inside of the bookshelves. I think they worked out really good. And my original thought was maybe some chicken wire or something like that, but I had these two pieces that I got from Hobby Lobby in my storage building and they fit perfect. I was praying that Hobby Lobby had more of them because I had them for several years and thank God they did. There's two different patterns and they worked out perfect. So I clamped them, I glued them and clamped them together and let them sit overnight. And now I am measuring the center of the door frames and the center of the wrought iron pieces. And I am just attaching them with metal brackets after I've lined up all of my center marks and they worked out perfectly. What do y'all think? heights and I'm thinking of an arch. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do this. I'm just winging it but I do know whatever material that I'm going to be using is going to have to be very lightweight. So I did look into uh, the quarter inch plywood um, but then I would have had to build a frame which would have been two by fours or a, some type of wood to build the frame to attach the plywood to. So I think I came up with an idea. I don't know how it's going to work or how it's going to look, but I'm gonna give it a try. So this is what I came up with. I saw this insulation board and it came in 
a four by eight sheet and I'm just going to measure and cut with a utility knife and hot glue it together. <laughs> I have no clue what this is going to look like, but hopefully it's gonna be really cool. So I got my measurements together, how wide I wanted my faux box and how tall I wanted it, and then where my arch was going to be. I found the center of the arch and I used a string and a pencil to trace out my arch pattern. Then I used a box knife and I went along the pencil mark and don't worry, my floor didn't get harmed in this process. It did not go all the way through the board. And then I just applied, applied pressure along the scored line and voila. So before I went any further, I wanted to see if I got my measurements right and I wanted to see how everything looked before I glued everything together. I went ahead and measured and cut the rest of my pieces for my faux box. I cut two sides, a back, and a top to glue on to the front piece, which was the arch. One thing I needed to keep in mind was all of the writing and the ink that was on the back side of this foam board. The writing had a slight texture to it and I knew that I would be able to see it through my painted finish. So I made sure all of my pieces were glued together with the smooth side out. So this is what the faux arch box ended up looking like when I was done gluing everything together. And I gotta tell you, for foam board, this is actually pretty darn sturdy and it is not coming apart for sure. And look at that, I can practically lift this with one finger. <laughs> I think it looks perfect and I love the scale and y'all just bear with me and wait till the end of this video for this amazing transformation when this is all painted with the coolest finish you've ever seen you are going to be in awe Sorry for the echo, I do have a microphone on, but this room is just wide open and the acoustics aren't in my favor. Anyway, I've got this piece put together, um, my faux box, my faux arch box up there is glued and in place, um, it's looking pretty plain. So. I think what I might do is do some kind of design up around the arch. I've got this piece of carved wood trim that a friend of mine gave me. I've had it in my building. And I think what I'm gonna do is cut it to fit and place it down here at the bottom and just nail it in place. But I think what I might do around the archway is mimic this design um, and just kind of carve the styrofoam or car carve the foam out with either a Dremel, Dremel tool or I'm not sure what yet. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just kind of draw out with a pencil a design around the arch um, and see how that's going to work. Hopefully this will all turn out. This is all an experiment and so far I love the height. I love how massive this piece looks and once this is painted you're not i don't think going to be able to tell unless of course you're a friend of mine and you've seen this video when you come over to my house so then you're going to know what that arch is made out of so let's get going So before I use my pencil, I sketched everything out with chalk just in case I needed to redo the design. And then I went ahead and traced everything out with a pencil and brought it to my shop and used my Dremel tool.
When I finished carving out my pattern, I lightly sanded all of the edges to smooth them out. Then I took the end of a Sharpie and traced over all of the carved pattern that I just made just to smooth everything out and give it a little bit more depth and dimension. Now it's time to paint. I am using the color Delft by Sherwin Williams and I'm going to paint the entire piece. Painting this piece all the same will disguise all of the different materials that I used and make it look like one complete piece. This project is almost over and oh I forgot to let you know that I did hot glue a little piece of trim around the top just to finish the box off because it really needed it and i think this really turned out amazing i love the design i love how this all looks like one unique piece of furniture it's one of a kind it truly is and i could totally stop right here but this color just was not doing it for me and I promised a jaw dropper at the end of this video. So are you ready to see what I did? Oh, hello, gorgeous. Yeah, that's right. Isn't she a stunner? Yeah, she is. <laughs> Y'all meet my beautiful statement piece, Yankee Rose. I spent under $100. I absolutely could not be happier. I love the pops of pink and coral. This is a functional piece of art. When you walk through my front door, this is one of the first things that you see. And I cannot be happier. She is absolutely beautiful. What do y'all think? Thank you so much for watching. I hope you loved this project as much as I did. I just cannot believe how painting a piece of furniture, hot pink, like who, who thinks of this? Me. <laughs> Putting a piece of hot pink furniture or whatever, something with color, just bring color in your life, people. But just being brave enough to put a functional piece of art is what I'm calling it because it is it's a piece of furniture I can use it but it also looks like an art piece and it's one of a kind but it just adds that pop of color exactly where I needed it and it's original and when people come in my house they're gonna know who lives there because I'm the crazy one that started painting her furniture pink <laughs> I can't wait to hear what you think of this. Please leave a comment below and let me know. I'm so glad that you watched this video to the end. I cannot wait to hear what you think of it. Till next time, I'll see you in my next video.